How do we begin solving this equation for n? No fractions. We do have a set of parentheses, so we'll begin by using the distributive property. The left side, oh, notice on the left side I have a few like terms. I have 7n plus n. Let's go ahead and write that as 8n. And then minus 6 is equal to 2 times 4n, that's 8n, minus 2 times 3 is 6. Notice what happens. I have the same thing on the left side as on the right side. You might want to ask yourself at this moment, for what real number value of n will this statement be true? For example, if n is 1, 8 times 1 minus 6, isn't that going to equal 8 times 1 minus 6? The answer is yes. Uh, no matter what value you let n become, 8 times that value minus 6 will always equal 8 times that same value minus 6. So you might notice right here that all real numbers are solutions. If you happen not to notice, that's okay. We'll still get the same answer. Let's move variable terms to one side, constants to the other side. So I will subtract 8n from both sides. Here's my equation. Now I'll subtract 8n on the left, subtract 8n on the right. Watch what happens. 8n minus 8n, that's 0, so I have negative 6 is equal to negative 6. Notice at this point all of your variable terms subtracted out. Now if all your variable terms subtract out and you end up with a false statement, the answer is no solution. If all of your variable terms subtract out and you end up with a true statement such as this one, all real numbers are solutions. So how many solutions do we have? We have an infinite number of solutions. All real numbers are solutions here.